anyways. Yeah, that's, a, that's a nice chain you got there, buddy. Yeah, I got two. Oh, wow. <laughs> the gangway. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, lads? Uh, we're at Royal Palms right now. Just had a chilling with uh, some of the boys right now after a crazy night of New Year's. Probably gonna head out to the beach a little bit later again. The gangway. The gangway. The bobs. The gangway. We live here. We live with your, with your boy Ryan K. Not official. <laughs> Man can't even zoom though. It's because you're using the focus ring. Later, kids. So now that my daily video series is over, because I was only doing it for this Christmas break, I just kind of wanted to do a recap of just like my thoughts about it, my experiences with it, and just, I don't know, things that I, I learned throughout the way. I think that one of the biggest things that I learned while doing this series is that perfection isn't key. A lot of the time you just have to like, get the content out, and that content just being produced every day at a decent level is going to drive viewers and subscribers and all of that. Yeah, so the past 14 days in these videos, I've actually gained about 30, I gained 32 subscribers in the past 14 days, which is really significant because that doesn't happen. Like, 32 might not sound like a lot, but when you have a channel that's small, or like mine, um, that brought me from, what is it, 490, and right now I have 522. <clears throat> this has also given me a much larger appreciation for all of those daily vloggers and daily video makers that I see on YouTube. Just because I have tried it, yeah, that is hard stuff. Especially once you set a time that you're going to post every day. I think that's when you get into like the hardest stuff because obviously you saw my channel, I wasn't perfect on it. There were some days where I was uploading at like 9 o'clock at night when I was meant to be uploading at 3. And there were some days where I was up uploading at like 5. But yeah, I wasn't always consistent on uploading at 3. It does get easier with time. Um, I think the first video took me about two and a half hours to edit. Um, the last videos were taking me one hour around. Um, so yeah, it does get easier with time. However, just getting to that rhythm of, okay, I can't do this because I gotta go edit, or I can't do this because I gotta upload, or something like that, you know, just, it's really difficult, you really gotta push yourself to, uh, to do it, pretty much, like, it's all, I think that in the future, I would definitely pick it back up, like, uh, I don't know, I'm going back to university now, my first, like, semester in, in spring, um, I don't know how the course load is going to be, but maybe like towards the end of the semester or something, I might try to make like a, a weekly video. I don't daily videos, it's a very big time suck and a very big commitment. So with everything that I'm going to have to be doing right now in university, I don't think I'm going to be able to make daily videos, but I think a weekly video would be cool. Just kind of summarizing like the coolest stuff that I did that week, because obviously when I'm in school, there's some days where I just gotta grind out work, so I'm not gonna be doing like very exciting stuff. Even over Christmas break, I wasn't doing that much exciting stuff some days. But I think a weekly video would definitely be cool. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been live. I love doing this series. Um, yeah, I strongly consider doing doing it again. But it's been Ryan Cacaldi. Out for the last time. And boom. Hey, I'm up here,